We are back on set with Carwell at this undisclosed location for the craziest, wackiest, most bonkers, slowest drag race ever. You saw us arrange the Bugatti Chiron versus the F1, which got millions of views. <laughs> And uh, we've got some very special friends. Let's see what we've got. So welcome to another Petrol Hedonism Day here with Carwell, where we brought together five amazing vehicles for the most bonkers drag race ever in the history of Carwell. This is a BMW Isetta brought in from our friends at Motor Addicts. Probably, we thought the smallest vehicle here, the driving position in this and everything is just nuts. Check this out. The steering wheel closes in on you. <laughs> Owen's six foot four, so he's gonna have a bit of a blast in this one. We've got the trotter van, and this is a pointed exactly like a trotter van should look with the leopard skin seat hasn't got the blow up doll in the back but here we are rodders del boy there is a race thank you to dom at forte motors in bedford that's brought that along literally what the tuck hamza our friend from london has brought in this tuck tuck which it's got some speed to it as well We've got the Calasino. Being Italian, I am driving the Piaggio Ave Calasino, which our good friend Mario has brought in for us. This is a modern take on the Piaggio Ave, which is a very rare model. Calasino brought in for the Olympic Games in 2012. But one of our favourites here, and definitely the smallest car from our main sponsors at Petrol Hedonism Live at Nebworth, AMT have got their rapid response vehicle, the smallest car in the world, the Peel P50. This is literally three wheels, a seat, and a little bitty engine. Oh my God, I think I broke it. Actually, you know what? It fits. We're racing for pinks. Who do you think is gonna be the winner? Isetta, Reliant, Tuk Tuk, Peel, or Calasino? This is gonna be a big one. Oh, you right in the back? I'm loving it. The anticipation, the expectation is building here on the runway. The crowds are actually salivating. It's going to be unreal. Right, we've got the line up. Engines are warming up. Here is my prediction, having seen the warm up of just around the side. I reckon Matt Watson in the Trotter van will win. I believe the Tuck Tuck second, or it could surprise us and win. So, first, second. Third will be me in the Calazino. Fourth will be the BMW Isetta. And fifth will be Yanni in the Peel because the Peel wants to be the smallest car in the world and the slowest car in the world. So, Scoop, we are in the Piaggio Abbe Calisino on the runway start line. It is crazy. Are you ready? It's race time. You're going to lose, my friend. Second time? Oh, totally missed the gears, <laughs> came last, it was awful, but biggest smile on your face, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely. The music sounded good. Great, a bit of Michael Jackson. There were five, now there's three, so the BMW Isetta with Owen driving is going into the final round. The Piaggio out here has now got Matt Watson driving that and Yanni's moved into the Tuk Tuk for a three-header race because the Supervan has run out of fuel but it's also too fast. That's why it's no Supervan and the peel is broken.
So it's been a great day of racing and this is the official winner of the day, the BMW IZETA getting lifted into the, you are, you bought the right there. Winners! Well done with the BMW IZ. Everybody's getting locked and loaded. It's been a great day of racing again for car wow. There's a link to the real official video in the description below. Join us again on Petrol Hedonism for the next instalment of what we get up to. This is Petrol Hedonism. Right, so if you've got a cool car, supercar, something quirky, something different, like the Peel P50 here from AMT, Go to the link in the bio, go to our website www.petrolhedonism.club and send us details. You can upload a couple of pictures and send us details about your car so that you can feature in a music video. Possibly you can get paid for bringing your car along or even get on the runway here at Carwell if you've got something super duper that they're looking for at that time. We don't just take what the races are, they let us know what they're looking for and then we can go to our database and get you guys involved. So go to the website and submit your details.